How many beetles, different varieties of beetles, do you think there are in the world? Take a minute, pause this video, go to Mr. Google and ask him about it. And don't get, don't go down that rabbit hole too far because I want you to come back. You got it? You probably noticed that there are tens of millions of types of beetles. It is the single largest animal group we have on the entire planet. Now, if I'm God, if you're God, we can say 10, that's, that's a pretty good variety. 100, that's kind of trying a little too hard. 1,000, what's the sense? But then you get hundreds of thousands of a variety of beetles. And you've got to say, why is God so interested in variety? You look at the planets. And go ahead and Google this. How many planets are there that we know of? And you're going to find out that there are more planets out there than we can actually count. The number is just, it's in the, uh, I can't remember, hectillions or tectillions. I can't remember. It's one of, those, one of those numbers we don't use a lot. It's like uh, three more digits past a trillion. Yet God still calls us. He still uses us as individuals. We are so varied and have such a variety among ourselves. I want to ask the question, does God really need another church start, another church plant? And the answer is yes, because churches are dying every day, churches are not fulfilling their calling every day, and sometimes there just needs to be a fresh church planted just like there has to be a new beetle that is born, a new planet that is formed a new you that is created, that is either born or born again. And each of these are going to be used in a unique way to fulfill the purpose of God.